So what we're doing today is you guys are coming along with me as I take an Instagram picture. For most people, taking a picture for Instagram probably means something along the lines of, um, you know, you do your makeup, you put on a cute fit, and then <laughs> you take the damn thing. You can see that naked spot now. Oh well. <laughs> and for me, it's not too far off of that, but it's a lot more dramatic than that, I have to say. Um, so the inspiration for today's look is, um, self-isolation with your family is so much fun. Okay. So the look I'm going for today is, um, it's a lot of different things, I guess. It's a lot of this picture by Lon from Lana Del Rey. I have no idea which era of Lana Del Rey this is. Someone will definitely know in the comments below. Old Hollywood wedding vibe, like runaway bride vibe. That's, but, but also very like haunted, like I was killed or something. That's the vibe I'm going for. I really fucked up the ends of my eyebrows. They'll literally grow back in two days, so it's fine. Do they look good? I don't think so. Oh well, we're gonna just make them darker until I die, I think. When I was younger, I was super into makeup. Like when I started high school. And I think it like rose from a thing of like, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup when I was a kid. Like, you know, like when I was like a little kid, cause like you shouldn't fucking wear makeup when you're a child. Then when I was able to, I wore it all the time. And now I can't stand wearing makeup. So this just does not feel right to cake on eyebrows like this. <laughs> yeah, cause no human, no regular human can live off a diet like this. Uh, 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 real food, okay? Uh. Really the amount of effort I put into taking a picture varies constantly. Honestly, today I just really feel like going the extra mile because I've had a particularly annoying day doing homework all day, um, sitting in my bed. So, and that's really what it's been like for the past couple of days. So, I just want a day where I feel very glamorous and have an excuse to put on a buttload of makeup. No, yeah, and I usually don't even put like foundation on the most times I'm doing this stuff. It's just today I seem to have a lot of acne. So we are covering that up. Um, I'm also taking a lot of inspiration. I mean, I don't know yet what's gonna happen, but I just have a feeling in my bones that I'm gonna be taking a lot of style inspiration from Beauty Spock during this whole ordeal. I love her. She's probably like my favorite artist on Instagram currently. She's just like the aesthetic I want. <clears throat> she's just the aesthetic I want to have eventually and she's just so creative and I love her vibe. I hate this brush. It's so spiky. Is this brush better? I've had this brush for ages. Mm, it's still spiky but it's a little better. I don't even know why I'm putting fucking foundation on my forehead. It's gonna be covered up by my bangs. When I'm doing makeup for this stuff, I really don't care how crazy I look. <laughs> like, again, that's the whole thing. I think, like, when I'm doing makeup for this kind of stuff, my, in my focus is never, like, how, like, hot I look. Obviously, that's a part of it, but I'm really trying to get behind, like, or get a kind of vision. <laughs> An artistic vision I have through. Okay, now before I get started on my eyeshadow, I need to figure out what I'm gonna be wearing because that's very indicative of what's going to be going on my eyes. Now, obviously, I'm gonna have to fit it to my eye, but I'm kind of inspired by beauty. <laughs> I'm gonna just post a picture right here, but I'm ex inspired by how Beauty Spock did her eye makeup in this one picture on her Instagram. Smoky winged out, but very minimal, like not anything crazy. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I'm always 
more stressed about how I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I think I like this one better. That's so, but is that too low? I think that, man, I hate doing eyeliner on hooded eyes. But I don't even know if I like this either. Okay. I can work with, I need to fix it, but I can work with that. I feel like winged eyeliner is like obviously still a staple. I feel like it's one of those like classic makeup things that never really goes out of style. But I'm just saying, I haven't seen like winged eyeliner in a while. You know, like I'm just bopping about. Mm, those are sp uneven, but they're just not gonna talk about it. I think I'm gonna slap on some fake eyelashes or something because that will make me feel better. I'm still not great at putting on false lashes. <laughs> I do any more makeup onto this drag face, I'm gonna do my hair. <laughs> it looks so sad with this makeup now. The vibe for the hair is very 50s. And also, coincidentally, taking as little time as we can with my hair as possible. We're giving myself a cute little thing. Aw, how precious. Losing my mind. Okay, so we're gonna leave that like that for a second. <laughs> I look like an egg. And then we're gonna just do the sides really haphazardly here. Video of Claudia damaging her hair for how long? Three hours straight? Oh, that did not work. <laughs> Love that. I always just really make sure the front pieces here look nice. Because if they look nice, no one will see the back sides. In the first car, whistling my name. Open up the bed. Singing over here, playing video games. I'm in a favorite sundress, watching me get undressed, take my money downtown. I wonder if there's like a 50s cover of video games. No. And I'm literally just gonna leave it in there, like I'm not, like I'm gonna judge it a little bit, but we're keeping it relatively in there. <laughs> you can tell I'm already starting to feel myself. I think oh, I don't really want to use hairspray because my hair is pretty... Fuck it, let's use hairspray. I don't care. When I was a kid, I fainted once because I hadn't eaten in the morning and I had um like a show, like a theater show thing, you know, that kind of shit you do as kids. Um, And my mom put hairspray in my hair and then I didn't eat that morning and I fainted. And then a little dog, that was my neighbor because my mom sat me outside to like get some fresh air and a, my neighbor's dog came out and was like, oh my God, girl, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, dog, I'm fine. Just a little woozy and then he was like, shit like let me hang out with you and that was really fun so it kind of just looks crazy this is the final look how do we look so <laughs> this is the idea i have here's the thing i have this corset which is like literally a waist trainer that i had this idea of ages ago to like make look like a real corset but i don't know if that's ever gonna happen but besides that i have like an actual corset which i'm probably gonna put on but i don't know if that's boring i also might switch into this nightgown i have like put it over top i think i'm gonna do multiple things but I know these are the key players, so because I know that, I'm going to switch off to the next thing I need to do, which is make my background. So how I'm going to make my background is I'm using, sorry, that's my 
close. I'm going to be using a mix of um, this just white sheet and another white sheet I have, and I'm going to put it along my walls here to kind of give the simulation of this is a place where photo shoots happen. And I'm going to strip my bed so I can easily walk around my bed. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Square mode, trust me, this looks a lot better. And yes, I film on my phone. Not just one phone, I film on this phone <coughs> and I film on my old phone. Trust me, if you have a playlist going on with kind of like the aesthetic of how you wanna feel for the particular pictures you're taking, you are going to really feel the energy. Um, If you have lights, well, if you have like lamps in your house, those always work, but I make sure that they are the cool toned lights. Those just simply look better in for taking pictures. Warm lights just don't look good. So I'm gonna move my lamp, my singular lamp over here, and we're gonna get started. Do all those other tasks I need to do. You're gonna get the worst angle, but that's simply because you are resting on a Nutella container, so. So I put my timer on 10 seconds. It's not flash, it's not anything. I'm just kind of getting test shots first. Um, if I don't like it, that's usually when I'm gonna end up resorting to flash. Hopefully I don't have to, cause it's pretty well lit right now, depending on the circumstances, but I think we'll be fine. Let's see, I might tie one around my leg. This is the thing about doing these things, is I never realize what I want until the very last minute. pick the best ones by just liking them and then I pick which order I'm gonna put the photos in. I'm one of those people that I love posting multiple pictures um, in one little album because I don't know it just looks nice going back and reflecting on it. For editing my pictures I always make sure I always go to um, shadows and highlights first because I feel like that fixes the picture the most and then I can figure out the other stuff. So I do I'll show you um, how I usually position them right now and then I always make sure to turn down the contrast maybe the saturation depending on the picture um, I'll turn up the saturation a little bit and then the brightness and then as for captions I don't really care about my captions I'll usually put something funny this time I felt like doing one that was a quote from um the Lana Del Rey song video games which I've been singing in this whole video because it's been stuck in my head but to still make it kind of lighthearted, I made the location poo poo so you know I'm uh, really really uh you know in it to win it you know <laughs> and then I usually post it and then I post something just on my story of just hey new post maybe go give it a like and that's really all I do for my Instagram alrighty I clean my room I washed my face. I took most of the hairspray out of my hair. It's feeling pretty crusty right now, but I'm done. I think if you've noticed in this video, when I'm trying to take pictures of myself for Instagram, it's never in a way that's like, I'm always trying to create a mood. I'm always trying to create a vibe. And of course you don't have to follow this. I think I still do give some pretty good ideas on how to do basically like a photo shoot by yourself, but I don't know, I hope this encourages you in some way to be more creative with your Instagram. I don't know, have fun with it. Why not? <laughs> and again, obviously in this video, I go really intense with everything I do and you can dilute it as much as you need. Have fun taking pictures, stay cute, goodbye.